Hi hey everybody, it's Sean from Shenanigans. We're happy to be talking to you today about our products and we're going to concentrate today on blocking boards. In case you're not familiar with Shenanigans, Shenanigans makes unique, creative, high quality crochet organizers. We've been doing this for two years now and we've been having some great successes at it. This is for what started it all with a crochet organizer. You'll see here that it comes, we ship free with it, a tape measure, a needle, a ripper, a pair of scissors, and 10 stitch markers. That comes as a value add whenever you buy it. This is the comfort grip organizer. This one here, many of you people are familiar with, this is called our Elite. It holds both up to 25 or 24 plus scissors on the front platform, comfort grip up to a half inch size, as well as standard grip in the back from size N down to size D, plus 14 for steel hooks, size zero through double zero through 14. Here's one I put together, uh, which is called the Ice Series. Now this is a maple base. This is a comfort deluxe is what we call this. And this is a perfect solution for somebody who has maybe hook and clay or furls and you want to show them off. The beauty of this product is you'll see that the top platform almost disappears, making it look like your hooks are kind of standing right in midair. In addition to that, we offer looms and pins, as well as several other products. This is one of my favorites. It's called the Portable Laptop Pattern Partner. Very simply, if you have a pattern, you put it in there and you can put the highlight on where you are and slide it down and at a glance, you'll know where you are. It's very thin and it's lightweight. It can be laid flat on your lap or you can put it up and it comes with stands and you can have it at an angle. So if you want to have it like that, okay? That's just a sampling of some of the products that we make here. We encourage you to go to our website. That's either at uh, our Etsy shop, at shenanigans at Etsy, or you can find us at shenanigans.com. We have all of our product offered on both sites. Today, I wanna to talk to you about our blocking boards and what makes our blocking boards a little different from our competitors. First of all, I'll start with this one. This is a product I started working on today. It only has one coat of polyurethane, so you can see it's not all that shiny. In a moment, I'll take another one and show you what it looks like. But all of our boards start with three boards that are all glued together. That adds strength to it, as well as different cosmetics from the three boards, giving you beautiful grain differentiation when you look at our boards. In addition to that, every one of the boards that leaves our house has three coats minimum, four coats minimum of polyurethane on them. The four coats of polyurethane allow you to mist your, mist your work and not worry about it seeking through to the wood. This is an example where you can see it here, I believe. There's an example of the uh, four coats of polyurethane. And you can see that the board I showed you just a moment ago only had one coat. Three more coats and it will look just like this. So we do that. In addition to that, every one of these holes, now here's an ultra I'm working on right now. It's not finished. Every one of these holes started at 1 64th of an inch and each hole is drilled a total of three times. And the reason we do that is because our approach to blocking boards is a little different from other people and what they do. Let me share with you. It's quite common for our competitors to have offering one quarter inch wooden dowels. As you can see, the here's ours next to it. This is less than half of the width of this one. And when you block along the edges in the wooden dowel, you'll see that you get a little bump there. So every one or two inches that you're blocking, you're gonna have a bump in your work. To see an idea, get an example of how we do this. This is the hole that we start out with. This is, I tap it so I can pilot hole. I put a pilot hole drill right here, and this is the final hole right here. So you get an idea of how we go about doing our business and when I start with such a small, small spot, it keeps our um, tolerances very, very tight, therefore allowing us to have very straight lines all the way across the board and meeting your expectations in a four and a half inch or a five or a six and a half inch square is exactly six and a half or five or four and a half inches wide. So that's, oh, I'm sorry, one other thing. Every one of our boards are fully covered on the back. So you can put them right on a beautiful surface like a dining room table that we're using right here. And you'll see that it's gonna have no impact on the surface itself. It doesn't scratch it, it doesn't leave any mars. And that's, those are the key differentiators from ours. 
Now let's talk about what, what our product offering is. We've just revamped our line and we're offering eight different models of blocking boards from $19.99 to $200. We'll have a solution for you. Why would you want to block? This is what a unblocked square looks like. It's still pretty, but as you can see, it's uneven. And when you put them together, you get your whole blanket or your finished product looks like that. Here, on the other hand, is exactly the same square block. And you can see it's nice and flat. There's a misting process that you can do to keep these things to hold their shape. Here's a good example of the pins, as you can see along the line. They aren't bulging or pushing out on the outside of the granny square, so it makes for a beautiful square granny square. This is called our mini blocker. It blocks four, four and a half, or five inch squares. Of course, it's felted on the bottom, as all of our products are. As I told you, you can put it down. And it sells for as little as $19. Next in the lineup is the African flower blocker. The African flower blocker, as you can see right here, we're blocking a triangle on it. But if you push this up out of the way a little bit, you can see underneath here, this will block hexes at three inch sides, a pentagon at three inch sides, or triangles at three inch sides. So you can use this as a very flexible board for people who are interested in using hexes or, uh, or pentagons or triangles. Grace is going to join us, I see. Next, I want to talk to you about our replacement for the Easy Blocker. The Easy Blocker was one of our first offerings, and it actually had four pins. One, two, three, four. That's what we shipped with it. So on a three inch square, it was probably okay, but when you get out to a five or a seven or an eight inch square, you were only blocking the four corners and the pins were larger on an initial product. And what happens is you get a little bit of creep in here where the square wouldn't be quite so square or blunt with us. The new blocking board is, was designed by Holly. And what happens is now you'll see that we have support across the bottom and at each point. So you'll have a minimum of a corner plus two plus the other corner, so four pins on each side from anything from a three inch square all the way up to an eight inch square. Of course, as I mentioned, it's fully felted on the black, and as you can see, it's also made out of three pieces of wood, and it has four coats of polyurethane on it for a beautiful grill well finished. Well qualified finish, I should say. The next one I wanna share with you is one of our more popular ones, and it's called the block saw. The block saw, Every one of these holes are one inch segments. They're one inch apart from each other, so you can block anything from a one inch square all the way up to a 12 inch uh, Afghan. Or if you wanted to do one inch pixels and put those all together, you could do that as well. The block saw comes with two inch pins. Um, you can go around the outside edge, or if you wanted to do four six inch, you could do four six inch blockers at one time on this board. It's a very versatile board, and it's been a pretty strong seller for us, and again, Felt it on the back with our brand here so you can see it. And this product, of course, comes with a stand. All of our block all come with a stand. And also um, our Premier products come with a stand as well. The next one I want to share with you, um, we have three products in the Premier series. The Premier series is indicated, as you can see here, by a nice outside um, trim of black walnut. So we have an 8-inch block saw. This is the 8-inch Mini Ultra. These are half-inch spaces. And the Ultra. Those three products are Premier products. And the Premier products from Shenanigans enables you to have free shipping, free returns for the first year, no questions asked, and a lifetime warranty on all of our Premier products. So if you're considering a warranty or you want free shipping or if you'd like to know that I want to buy it but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, you can go ahead and buy a Premier Series. And those are three benefits that you get from the Premier Series. Now, the Premier Series, we have an 8-inch block saw, which is all 1-inch increments. The block saw Ultra Mini, that's this one, which is all half-inch increment on all of our holes. And then, of course, we have the um, full-line Ultra here, which is now it's a 12-inch, half-inch holes throughout the, throughout the offering. <clears throat> the next one is probably one of our most popular ones, and that's called... The Blocks All Plus. The Blocks All Plus, this is one I'm working on, so it's only had one coat on, and you can see it's not as shiny. In Quadrant 1, it's all one half inch increments, so that's six by six by six. But Quadrant 2, 3, and 4 are all one inch increments. So you could use it as a block saw and block anything up to 12 inches, 
or if you have a smaller project, you can use it right up here in the corner, blocking up to six inches square. This is almost a dual purpose board and it'll block large or small, making it one of our more popular blockers. Finally, I wanna share with you the Blocks All Ultra. Now, we posted this on our site just a, about a week or so ago. We've sold uh, qu actually quite a number of them since we posted them. It is a 13 inch board with 12 inch um, working space, all at one half inch increments. So you can block rectangles, triangles, circles, squares, almost anything you'd like on this board. And of course, it'll be finished in the black walnut trim, therefore uh, making it part of the Premier series. Oh, I'm sorry. And it also ships with its own little stand. So you can have that sitting right out there in your display room. So that's kind of the uh, offering we have. It's a pretty nice offering. But we were thinking, and we've been talking to our customers, trying to manage these pins, although even this is the six inch version of them, is kind of tough. We ship to you in a small plastic bag that works for probably quite some time, but it's not a long-term solution. So Genesis gave us a call, or actually sent us an email the other day. She bought an Ultra, and she wanted to know if we could maybe, on her Ultra, put a drawer underneath it so she could store her pins. Now, the problem with doing that is I, we lose the flexibility to put it up in a stand. It makes it larger and bulkier and heavier to ship, and, <clears throat> and it take, kind of takes away from some of the features that we think are really unique about our boards. So I asked her, would you give me a day or so and see if I can't come up with a better solution? And she said, sure. So I went to the drawing board and came back with what we're calling the Bloxall Display and Drawer. This is one of our newest offerings and we're pretty excited about it. The Bloxall Display and Drawer, as you'll see here, can hold a 12 inch board. So it's right in and stands there. And one of the nicest features about it is, of course, it has a drawer, and in that drawer, there's space for two inch or four inch, six inch pins. So now your pins are right here at your, at your um, blocking board, and it's all in one nice compact, compact space, and you have a great solution. Let's say for an example, you wanted to add an integrated tray mate, that would go right back here, and now you can go ahead and put your hooks, maybe one or two of your favorite hooks. So you'd have your board, your favorite hooks, and your pins all in one easy, compact little storage. Now, it works for this size board, but it also works for our 8-inch boards. So if you take an 8-inch board and put it in here, it looks just like that. Beautiful as can be. One of the problems with this solution though, as you take a look at it, I have this beautiful highlighted black walnut, but there's nothing to highlight it here. So we decided I need a better solution, something that would recognize the premier customer's taste in black walnut. So you know what we made for you? A black walnut version of the Bloxall display. And now when you put it in, you'll see it highlights the black walnut in the front drawer as well as here. One thing I forgot to mention is if you take a look here, you'll see that we've put felt right in here too, so that when you slide your board in, it doesn't scratch the front, and the felt on the back will keep it from scratching the back, so it sits in there really nicely and just stands there. It's a nice, compact, beautiful little solution, and this one here, for example, you can see I have the 6-inch and 4-inch pins in it in place. Each trough will hold about 35 or 40 pins, so this could hold about 80 or maybe even about 100 or 120 pins if you were so inclined to purchase that many. So that's what we're offering here at Shenanigans, among other things. We have a lot of things that we're doing this year. We're on track to uh, more than double our business, and we're very excited about the support and all the confidence that you guys have given us at Shenanigans. We're having a great year, and we couldn't do it and turn it into a real business without your support. And for all that you've done for us, Please know that we appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate you tuning in today.